Hello? Hello, I'm back. Quick little intro today, back with a polygel video. I sometimes get asked, like, do you not like polygel? Because you don't use it very much anymore. I love it. I just get so distracted off camera with other products that sometimes polygel takes a back seat. But I'm gonna make a conscious effort to put out more polygel videos because that is what the people want. I've been MIA, just really busy off camera with like business stuff, getting to know different products that I wanna use. I'm rebuilding my website and that's taken a huge chunk of my time because I'm doing it 100% by myself. So I've been relearning how to build a website it's been both fun and frustrating but the nerd in me is really enjoying troubleshooting and figuring it out and it's looking really good because I get to customize it how I want it to look through code if you're new to my channel I'm not a professional nail tech I'm not a professional nail anything I'm just a gal at home trying to save a couple bucks everything that I have learned has been through trial and error and using myself as a guinea pig so I'm not a pro nor am I claiming to be everything that I use will be listed in the description box below again thank you so much for your patience waiting for another video I've just been busy off camera but I am back thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed and let's get into it here are my natural nails my cuticles actually aren't looking too bad today so I won't need to use my Sally Hansen instant cuticle remover like I usually do I just used a bit of cuticle oil instead pushed them back scraped away any dead skin with my double-sided cuticle pusher tool and gently trimmed away any dead skin with my cuticle nippers Next, I'm trimming as much of my natural nails as I can because I'll be doing a clear set today and I don't wanna see my natural nails peeking through underneath. Today, I will be working with dual forms. These are the ones by McCart. I find dual forms to be the best for encapsulating glitter and they're beginner friendly, which is also nice. So I'm just sizing them to fit my natural nails. I'm making sure that they fit from sidewall to sidewall. I pretty much always have to reshape my dual forms for my thumb because the cuticle area of my thumb is a bit more square. So I just filed down the rounded edge of my dual form so that it fits perfectly on my thumb. Normally, if I wanted my poly gel to last three plus weeks, what I would do is file my natural nails with a worn down 180 grit file, prep with a dehydrator and an acid-free primer, and apply a base coat before applying the poly gel. But because I wanted to film other poly gel videos soon after this set, I decided to clean my nails with some alcohol on a lint-free wipe and go in with a peel-off base coat by ASP that I found at Sally Beauty before applying my base gel. This basically makes any gel products that you apply over top peelable without damaging the natural nail, which is awesome for someone like myself who needs to frequently switch out their nail looks. Honestly, even if I wasn't filming YouTube videos, I would still consider using a peel off base coat when working with poly gel because of what a pain in the ass it is to remove normally. So I had this set on for about a week and a half and I honestly didn't notice any lifting or weakness due to the peel off base coat. The poly gel wore just as it normally would, but the removal process was a breeze. I basically just used a wooden stick to kind of loosen up the sidewall of my nails until I was able to get a little bit of lift and I was able to peel them right off. So anyway, once my peel off base is on, I let it air dry for a few minutes and then I move on to applying my foundation, which is a base gel. I still apply a base gel regardless of applying the peel off base coat because all the peel off base coat is, is kind of like a sticky glue. It doesn't replace your base gel, which you will need before applying poly gel. The base gel also acts as a protective layer between your natural nails and the poly gel. So once my foundation is on, I'm curing it in my LED lamp for 45 seconds. 
There are a bunch of pre-mixed clear glitter poly gels that you can find on Amazon that give a similar effect to what I'm doing today. I didn't have any in my collection at the time of filming this, and they're pretty much always sold out whenever I try to get my paws on them, so I figured I would make my own using McCart's Clear Poly Gel, which side note is the clearest of any brand of clear poly gel I've tried. Try saying that five times in a row. And all of the gorgeous glitters that I have collected and have been dying to use, which I think is a bit more fun anyway. All of these glitters can be found on Amazon and will be linked in the description description box below. And now it's time to start building my nails. I've got my brush and picker tool. I'll be using 70% alcohol as my slip solution. Poly gel, especially the McCart one, is super sticky, so it's always nice to have some kind of slip solution to help smooth out the poly gel with your brush. I'm first dipping my spatula into my slip solution to prevent the poly gel from sticking to it. I'm squeezing out a little bead. I'm placing it into my dual form, which of course is out of frame. And then I dip my brush into my slip solution and blend the poly gel from the cuticle down the dual form until I have a nice, even, thin layer of it. I always check that the poly gel around the cuticle of the dual form is nice and thin to give it a more natural look when I apply it to my cuticle. And once I'm happy with the distribution, I just start placing my chunky glitter pieces into the poly gel. And there's no real method to this. I find that the more scattered and random the glitter is, the better it looks in the end. Every once in a while, I'll flip my dual form over just to kind of see how it's looking, if I need to add certain pieces in empty spots. And then I move on to applying my second layer of poly gel, which will encapsulate the glitter that I just put down. This time, I'm just squeezing the poly gel right into the dual form from the middle to the cuticle. and. Once again, I'm blending it out with my brush and my slip solution. Once it's evenly distributed, I go in with another layer of glitter. Layering the glitter gives the nail a really cool multi-dimensional effect depending on how the light hits the nail, which you'll see later on. So I'm placing the dual form at my cuticle and gently pressing it down the rest of my nail. I'm not applying too much pressure, but just enough to push out any air bubbles. And if there is any spillage, I just clean it up with my brush and a little bit of slip solution before curing it in my LED lamp for 45 seconds. To remove the dual form, I just gently squeeze the tip, put a little bit of pressure on each side of it, and it pops right off, revealing the most gorgeous encapsulated glitter. Then I just move on to my next nail and I follow the same steps. Again, I'm placing the dual form at my cuticle, gently applying pressure and pressing it down the rest of my nail, making sure that the sides are nice and even, cleaning up any spillage. And what I also like to do sometimes is smooth out the underside of my nail with my brush and a little bit of slip solution because sometimes what happens when you apply the dual form to the nail is the poly gel can ooze out where the natural nail ends and you don't want any poly gel on your skin. So it's always best to smooth out the underneath part of the nail if you see that happening before curing. I'm popping 
that in my LED lamp for 45 seconds, removing the dual form and moving on to the rest of my nails. I'm gonna stop talking for a bit, but before I go, if you are new to Polygel and you want more in-depth videos, I will include all of my tutorials in the top right-hand corner of this screen, as well as in the description box. I decided to sacrifice the look of my thumbnail to show you why I wouldn't recommend pre-mixing your clear poly gel with your glitter and then applying it into the dual form. So when you're mixing your clear poly gel with your glitter, you're introducing air into the poly gel mix, which will create hundreds of little air bubbles, making the poly gel appear cloudy when placing it into the dual form. As you can see, this is nowhere near as clear as the rest of my nails. Sure, there is more glitter in the mix, but there are a ton of tiny little air bubbles all throughout, giving it that cloudy look which kind of distracts from the sparkle of the glitter so although it takes a bit more time i would recommend placing your glitters into the poly gel as i did for the rest i'm trimming all of my nails with my tip cutters and then i'm moving on to filing and shaping I'm not doing a ton of reshaping today, I'm just kind of cleaning up the sides and sharpening up the tips, making them as square as I can, and to do this I'm using a 180 grit file over my dust collector. One thing that kind of sucks about using dual forms with poly gel is that the underside of the nail is nowhere near as smooth and even as the top of the nail. So to fix this, I use an under the nail cleaning bit and I file off any lumps and bumps that I may have under my nail that I wasn't able to smooth out before curing. This makes a huge difference in the overall look of the nails, especially if you're doing a clear set. Next, I'm switching over to a cone-shaped ceramic drill bit and I'm cleaning up my cuticle area a little. I find that no matter how thin I blend out my poly gel around the cuticles, I always have to smooth them out after curing.
I'm then using a buffing block to further smooth out the cuticle area as well as the rest of my nail. Like I said earlier, when using dual forms with poly gel, the underside of the nails is not as flawless as it would be if you were applying poly gel over tips. So whenever I use dual forms, I like to do as much cleanup under the nail as I can, and that includes creating my own C-curve using my e-file. Now that I'm happy with the shape, I'm wiping the dust off my nails with a little bit of alcohol on a lint-free wipe. And something that I started doing a while ago when applying poly gel with dual forms is once I'm done filing and shaping, I like to apply a little bit of my acid-free primer to the cuticle area after buffing it. Although I smooth them out pretty well with my e-file and buffing block, I find that the primer etches and smooths out any little poly gel imperfections around the cuticle area. You obviously don't have to do this, but it might work for you if you're having trouble making your cuticle area look nice and smooth. Just make sure not to get it on your skin. Next, I'm applying a thin coat of the McCart Glitter Top Coat. I've been wanting to use this for a while and figured this would be the perfect look for it. It just kind of adds a little oomph to it, you know? I love seeing the glitter come back to life when applying a top coat. It is so satisfying. And although this glitter top coat is very pretty, it just doesn't give me the shine that I'm after and I can kind of feel the tiny glitters when I rub my fingertips across my nails. So after I cure it in my LED lamp for 45 seconds, I follow it up with the Kiara Sky non-wipe top coat and I also cure that in my LED lamp for 45 seconds. When doing a clear set, applying a little bit of top coat underneath the nail makes a world of a difference. To do this, I like to use the IBD number no. 6 flat gel nail brush because it's nice and thin and it fits right up to my natural nail. Once that's on, I'm curing it in my LED lamp for 45 seconds, and then I'm rehydrating the skin around my nails with my Kiara Sky cuticle oil. I really didn't know if I would like this rose scent because I'm not usually into rose scented things, but this actually smells nothing like roses. It just, I don't know, it smells sexy. I can't describe it. Anyway, that completes this tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. This set was so cute. The camera really didn't do it justice. It's one of those looks that looks different depending on what kind of lighting I was in. As always, everything that I used will be listed in the description box below. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed and I'll see you in my next one. Okay, love you, bye.